Good afternoon, everybody. Today is a pivotal day in ham radio for North Carolina Prepper. Uh, I've been recharging and uncharging and charging this battery as an alternate power, but it's it's ran its life, so I need to trade it in for another one, recycle it. But I went ahead and I bought a. Well, let me show you. Here's how it comes. Nice. Shiny. Okay. Okay, here's what comes in the box. A computer type power cord, that's handy. Uh, a manual, blah blah blah. We don't read manuals around here. We file that over there. Pull that out. We file that in the proper place. Okay, so if we look here at the back, we've got output voltages. And we can lock the voltage at 13.8, or we can have adjustable voltages. As we on the front, there's a knob. Um, hold up, there it goes. Um, to adjust your voltage. When that when that's uh, done, it goes from... Um, oh... I forget what it goes up to. It goes up to 16 volts, but still power. And we got our front power output, which is nice. And I like this one because I can have a like a, a car thing in there as well. So I'm probably going to run a USB charger. Um, I'm going to go down and get another surge presser and then plug one of the EMP protectors into that. And I just got this. I'm really excited. It has the noise offset, so if you're on 20 meters and the I guess the inverter in here is um, is uh, kind of excited. <laughs> is um, giving um, signal on your channel, your frequency. You can go like that, and I believe I'm sorry, uh, offset, and I believe you can adjust it up to uh, I think uh, 35 kilocycles or whatever to offset the uh, the harmonics. So this had really good ratings, except for one guy. Who said this knob doesn't work on it to adjust voltage? But I'm gonna bet you dollars to donuts he didn't flip that switch to adjustable. But there we go. I'm gonna go ahead and hook my radio up to it. And um, that's just a quick unboxing of it. Very excited. When I get on here, I got some contesting to do, and some PSK, and some slow scan TV I want to do tonight. Uh, we're not gonna read this either. Okay, so I'll set this up, and then um. I'll come back tonight or tomorrow. I'm going to set up a complete radio station. I'm going to redo a packet and all that stuff. And I'll, I'll go through setting that up. So we can set up an automated mail system using WinLink, um, which will connect to the internet, but it'll be wireless. And I've got some EMP uh, protectors that go on the, um, the coax as well. But I think I'll also build a window pass through instead of just running it through with a towel for a temporary setup. But we'll see which videos I'm going to do in time. I don't know, but I want to get this one out, the unboxing of this. I'm very, very excited for this. So, all right. So, I'm Ken Pepper. Please rate, subscribe. Have a great day, everybody. All right. I want to make one little quick addendum. This front port here um, is only good for 3 amps. I didn't realize that, which is fine because in the back, I'm, you know, i got to plug in the back. And this here is 10 amps up there for the port but like I said this is on and we're on voltage now we got it locked at 13.8 because it connected to the radio and I look at my amps and if I go over here and just turn the radio on maybe there we go if you look, listen to that I can adjust the harmonics hold on move this over a bit there we go. And then if I set the mode to say FM or CW. Oh, let's do FM. There we go. If I key up, this is our power. It's only pulling about 8 amps. But yet, the voltage will stay constant. Now on sideband, I 
Not much. Oh wait, I turned it down. <laughs> Let me turn the power up, sorry. Okay, we're at 100 watts, 120 watts or so. Uh, radiation safety? Not so much, but here we go. Up to 16. And then on FM, there, we're dead keen at about 16 watts, or amps, 16 amps. So there you go, North Carolina Prepper, I'm going to turn the power back down this 20 watts, because the antenna is about 4 feet from me, and uh, it's kind of neat, i got to get a ballum set up I guess, and some other stuff, but there you go, and when you turn it off, it slowly fades. Uh, it runs out of power. It just depletes the uh, capacitors in there. But it has a lit up display and everything. And uh, there we go. Uh, that's the Tech Power Supply. Uh, TP30 uh, SW2. Which basically means 30 amps. Peak. Or peak. I, I think that's PEP, not RMS, but whatever. Alright, so I'm Prepper. Please rate, subscribe, and have a great day, everybody. I'm going to go play.